If you have a large number of products that you need to enter into your store, it might be easier for you to enter those using a CSV file or a comma-separated value file. Let's go over how to do this in the Shift 4 shop. First, we want to go to Products, Product List, and at the upper right, you'll see a button that says Export Import. On the right side, if we open up Products, this is where we can import our CSV file. The easiest way is to actually download a sample file. Here we have what the sample file outputs to you, and it will allow you to actually add your products to be imported into your store. It's important that you do not delete or add any new columns when entering products into your store. This is the exact format that the file needs to be in to import your product information properly. Not everything is required, and if you don't need a field, just leave it blank. And it will be blank when it gets imported. The first field you need to enter is the ID. This would be a unique product ID, a SKU, or a part number for the product that you want to import, and this can be a combination of letters and numbers. The system will assign a separate database ID that we'll use to keep track of each product in the back end of the system, and that's called the catalog ID, and it will only show in a product export. The catalog ID is not included at this time because it's not needed for reporting new products. The second required field is the name and this is just the name of the product. The third required field is the price, and this is the price that you want to charge your customers. There are two other fields that are both optional. If you're using Shift 4 Shop to track your inventory, then putting in the amount of stock will be required. If you're using real-time shipping, then you'll need to enter the weight as well. The rest of the fields are optional and can be filled in or not filled in. It's important to be careful and cautious with your spelling and formatting of the fields that you place in here. For example, if you have a manufacturer, which is manufacturer space A, and you put in manufacturer space A and another space, it's possible that the system will create an additional manufacturer that you didn't have. When putting in numerical values, don't put any commas or special characters or anything like numbers or pounds. The system will just use the default that you have set up within your store. So if you're using dollars, it will default to dollars. If you're using imperial or metric, it will default to imperial or metric. It's also possible for you to export your existing files just to understand what it might look like. So if we export the data and download, we can see what our already existing products look like in the system. We can then copy and paste into our sample file and use the same format as our existing products. So if you're not sure how to do this, set up one product in each category, download the file, and then it will be easier for you to copy things such as your categories, descriptions, and even image locations. Here's an example of what your CSV might look like when you're ready to upload. We have an ID, a name, what category it goes into, price, stock, description, the thumbnail location, and at the image location, you'll notice in all of the URL locations, we do not have the front slash in front. And that includes in your thumbnails, your images, and your categories. Once you're finished filling out your CSV, we can go into the system and import it. Again, back in our dashboard, go into product, product lists, export import, And again, we want to actually browse and include our file. Then go ahead and import your data. After you've clicked import, you're given a variety of options which are pretty self-explanatory. You can insert only, which means it will insert any records that are not currently showing in your database. Update only will update records that are currently found in your database. Or you can do both. You can insert and update. You can also erase all of your products and then insert like you're starting from new, as well as erase all of your products and categories and then insert. Be cautious of the last two. Once you're finished, you can view the status of how long it takes. The more items you have, the longer it will take. You can also have options such as notifying, viewing your logs, canceling, and retrying.
The last thing to mention is that importing the products will not import things such as your product options, like size and color. The options import is a completely separate import. All products must be imported prior to importing any options. The great thing about this function is that it allows you to quickly add products without having to go in and do the entire thing manually. And that's how easy it is to add products using a CSV.